Yo guys, what's going on? Augie Man back with another pickups video for our Augie's Movie Man. Sorry, something fell off up there. Anyways, I just got home. It's hot as hell today, I'll tell you what. And uh, I've got some more Dollar Tree pickups. I went by a Goodwill because I needed to uh, waste some time before I had to go to my son's dentist appointment. So I stopped by there. Found a couple of really cool items. I also got a couple at Walmart. I'm going to show you guys all that. And also going to show you guys some uh, newer titles that I have bought. Don't want to spoil any of those unless you paused it. Bless your heart, you caught her. But uh, some different titles that I've picked up throughout the past uh, couple of weeks. So I'm going to show you those. I think that we'll start with those. So some of these I've seen, some of them I haven't seen. I'll tell you but if you guys have seen any of these movies from the dollar stores some of them are older movies some of them are newer ones but two or three weeks old let me know if you guys have seen any of them love to see your guys's comments I appreciate all the feedback I got on the last Dollar Tree pickup I know I got uh, two or three comments a couple of new subscribers so thanks guys appreciate that but let's get into these newer ones first one I got is actually a uh, a documentary movie by Peter Jackson. I hear it's really good. Walmart I was at, we finally uh, got some of them. I've actually had this for like three or four weeks. Uh, this is actually an older one that I've gotten, but it's called "They Shall Not Grow Old." I know a guy at work that really wants to uh, watch this, and uh, I'll have to know how he what he. Uh, let him know how it is because he really wants to see it but they shall not grow old it's basically a lot of old world war one footage and peter jackson like updated it to nowadays i guess which i wish they would have had blu-ray because blu-ray probably would have looked awesome on this format of format of this right here but uh i'm looking forward to watching this i haven't gotten around to it yet but i just thought of a movie that i bought that i did not put in this stack I saw the original Pet Cemetery as well. That was one that I bought. Was it last week or two weeks ago? I think two weeks ago I bought it. Wasn't the greatest fan of it. I mean, it was okay, but I still like Pet Cemetery too. I know people, oh my god, he likes that one over Pet Cemetery, but I do. Now, this one got about four, three or four from this place. It's a little, uh, video game store that also sells movies and stuff and I've been looking for this this is actually from like back in 2016 and it's got uh, Harry Potter in it and this right here is one of the most bizarre movies that I've ever seen in my life I saw it on Amazon Prime a long time ago and all of a sudden at work I know a guy that had watched it it came up on Netflix. It might be on Netflix right now, so if you guys want to see that, go over there and watch it. You guys might know what I'm talking about already, but it is called Swiss Army Man. As you can see, I paid about seven bucks for it. It's got a digital, and I didn't even realize that. It's probably not even in there. Oh, it is in there. I'll be damned. Hard one to find, actually. I've been looking for it for a while, and I just happened to run by it, so I picked it up, but it's got Paul Dano and... I don't want to ruin anything for it. If you guys just have to watch it, you'll either like it or you'll absolutely hate it. But it is bizarre, I will tell you that. But basically, Paul Dano's on an island. And uh, Harry Potter washes ashore. And uh, he's dead. But that's all I'm going to say. You guys got to watch it. Swiss Army Man. Next one we got. I picked these up um, about two or three days ago. One of them I was excited about because apparently you can only get it on the Disney Movie Club. That is not the one I was going to do. I also have a Disney Movie Club one that I redeem points, but it's called Return to Neverland. But I'm happy about getting that one. Turned it the wrong way. I was happy to find that. It was over at that local video game store, but uh, picked that one up. Had to take it back over there today because the DVD had this scratch, but the guy said, oh, it was probably just because of the something in the case, and he fixed it up for me, but I don't know what the hell he was talking about. But anyways, Return to Neverland. I've never seen this, and it's a Disney Movie Club exclusive. 
I don't know if you can see that there, but they had a couple of copies of it, so I picked her up. And she's got a slip cover, so sweet there. And the Blu-ray looks really good, but I'm going to check this one out very soon. This one here we got is, uh, I watched about five minutes of it. I just could not stay awake. It's not like it's that bad of a movie. I really do want to see it. It's got Vinnie Jones in it. It's a horror movie. And as I started watching it, I noticed that Bradley Cooper is in it. And I was just like, what the hell? I had no idea that Bradley Cooper was in this. And also the gal, uh, Leslie Bibb. I've seen her in a few things. It's a Lion Gates movie. It was actually made back in 08. It's an unrated director's cut. The Midnight Meat Trade. Hey! <laughs> Sorry about that. Excuse me, but it's called the Midnight Meat Train. It looks kind of crazy. I'll show you the black, but it gets a little violent in there. Sharp and brutal. Easily the best Clive Baker adaptation since the first Hellraiser film. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I might watch it tonight. I really would. Because I tried to watch it last night. I was so damn tired I couldn't uh, get through her, so I just stopped it. But it looked crazy from the first, like, so many minutes. And Bradley Cooper's in it. How the hell did this one get by without knowing Bradley Cooper was in it? I had no idea. Okay, this is the one that I got from the Disney Movie Club. I've noticed other YouTubers were picking it up. I hadn't seen it on there because I've been redeeming a lot of points and getting a lot of cool stuff. And I was like, I didn't see that on there. So I clicked on the website, and sure enough, it was on there. So I ordered it. I just got it about two or three days ago. And it also is a Disney Movie Club exclusive, but you can get it off of the, uh, it's like a 1,060 points or something like that. Bambi 2. Never seen this one as well, so I've got two sequels to uh, pretty good classics. Also got the old Slipper Dipper on there. I like that Slipper Dipper. Maybe that's the one that I will go with it. All right, the next two I got are actually 4Ks. If you guys didn't know, I, I do have a 4K player now, so I have been trying to pick some of these up. The next one that I'm going to talk about, I was only going to get in 4K, but it had a ventricular cover, so I ended up getting that. These are two classics. First one we got, E.T. So that one I'm really looking forward to revisiting. Haven't seen it in years, but... I just don't, I like the cover of it. I just wish it was kind of the one where they're up into the moonlight and it shows them, you know what I'm talking about, the classic E.T. look, but that one will be cool. And the next one we got, that one didn't have a slipper dipper on it, but this one has Kevin Costner in it and uh, Dennis Hopper. And that is uh, Waterworld. I've seen they brought this out. My wife was excited about it, so... We decided to upgrade all the way to get the uh, Blu-ray and the 4K. We haven't watched it yet. It's got the slipper dipper on it. That's cool. Slipper dipper. I'm going to use that. But Waterworld. This one, I just watched this the other night. I feel like I want to do a review on it. But, you know, there's been a lot of DC movies that have been out over the past, like, few years. Not, like... A lot of years but there's been like the batman and the batman versus superman the man of steel the suicide squad the list goes on and on with those the justice league this one came out i wasn't sure how good it was going to be but i watched it and i honestly think that it's the best dc movie that i've seen in a very long time since uh like uh the dark knight and all those i don't even know if you consider those the dc ones but i get you got to but it's got the little ventricular cover, so you got the boy. It's called Shazam. Guys, I highly recommend watching this. I think it's uh, it, it was funny as hell. I was laughing my butt off to it. I mean, it has a lot of cool action. It's got cool surprises. Oh, Mark Strong is the bad guy in this. I, I don't know if you guys know who Mark Strong is, but he's like in uh, the first Sherlock Holmes movie with Robert Downey. He's in, like, the Brothers Grimsby. He's in The Kingsman. He's in countless movies. He's awesome in anything he's ever been. And he was the bad guy in this one, which made this even better. But Shazam. This is really cool. I don't want to say a lot because I think I'm going to do a review on this one. It also is cool because the Slipper Dipper is different than the actual case. So I like that. 
I was going to get it on 4K, but it looked just as good on Blu-ray. It was awesome. I like that movie. I really did. Okay, now those are the ones that I've picked up over the last, like, couple weeks. Now we're going to get into all of it that I picked up today. It's probably going to run a little long. We're already at 10 minutes. Holy crap. So these I bought out of the $5 bin. I'm upgrading one of them. The other one I've never seen. Like I said, guys, if you've seen any of these, please leave it in the comments down below and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. But this one is Creed. I got the Blu-ray DVD of it. It's kind of funny. They have the big bin that's full of all these movies. They also have some up on the wall. I dug through that whole entire bin and I thought, well, I'm not going to find Creed because I was going to look for this one. I looked through there and I said, crap, I'm not going to, it's not in there. And I raised my head up and I looked right there and they actually had them up on the shelf. And I was like, shit, how did I not see that? But Creed, I haven't seen either one of them. Next one we got, have not seen it. I don't know anything about it. It was like five bucks my wife threw it in the card I showed it to her I asked her what she thought it would be what she thought of it and I guess we're gonna watch it sometime Valerian what is it called Valerian in the city of a thousand planets and it looks like a sci-fi action type of thing but we'll see that's all I got at Walmart the next two I got were from the Goodwill. Like I said, I stopped there to uh, waste some time for my son's dentist appointment. Pretty happy about both of these pickups. I've been looking for this one for a while at a decent price because I'm really not sure about it. It's funny, it says, It is 2013. War has crippled the earth. Technology has been erased. Our only hope is an unlikely hero. And it's Kevin Costner... In the postman I've heard a lot of people say it sucked and I know a few people that says that it's really good so it's like one of those apocalyptic movies I believe so I'm looking forward to watching this an epic filled with adventure excitement and hope that's Kevin Costner and it's got a little the old snapper case in there and it was in these were both in really good shape so I picked that one up and then I found this Pretty sure the other copy of this I have on DVD because I don't know if they have it on a Blu-ray. But if they do, I'm going to upgrade this because I'm a big fan of Johnny Cash. This is a two-disc DVD collector's edition. So I've got it in widescreen now. Funny story, a long time ago, me and my mother were actually at a Goodwill. And we found this exact, it's not this exact copy, but one of these. And the... The movie disc was just absolutely destroyed, so we didn't get it. So she's probably going to be a little irritated that I picked this up. And it's of Walk the Line. You can see it's kind of cool. It's got like the, the normal movie poster of it. It's got this big... Actually, unfolds here. I really like this set. It looks cool. And it's got like these... Um. Well, that is actually the... Uh, the card you never see those the gospel road I don't know what that is here we've got like Johnny Cash Johnny Cash there's Reese and Joaquin there they are again there's a little duet so that's pretty cool I only paid three bucks a piece for these too so that was pretty good look how the back of this has all these different pictures from the film I really like walk the line though I have seen this one before a lot of times so that's all like the newer movies and stuff like that. Some of them are newer, some of them are older. Now we're going to get into the Dollar Tree DVDs and uh, yeah, I did get three Blu-rays. I was wondering if I got any Blu-rays. Just a random one there and I looked and I decided to pick some more up. Here's a Magnolia title with Guy Pierce. I don't really remember. Anthony Michael Hall, Giovanni Ribsy. Corby Smolders. It's called Results. So we'll see how that is. Next one we got is a magnet title. I've seen a few people pick this up, so I decided to pick her up as well. Jija Yayin and Raging Phoenix. That kick ass girl from the hit movie Chocolate is back. This one's like a documentary. And uh, the name for itself tells you what it is. 
Kurt and Courtney. I guess it's about the whole uh, thing to do with Kurt Cobain and her. I'm not really sure. It was made back in 2012. But 95 minutes. Don't know who put this out exactly. Content. Her Fisher films. Something like that. But it's a documentary on that whole life thing. This one's got Patricia Clarkson. Ben Kingsley. It's a broad green title. I notice you guys could probably see that, but it is Learning to Drive. I've seen a lot of people pick that up. Sounded like it might be pretty cool on the back, so I picked her up and we're going to watch her. Those guys make some pretty good movies. I do not remember getting that one. Okay. This one I got because the main dude, I think he's the main dude. He's in, like, uh, The Raid and The Raid 2, and he was also in Stuber, which I watched. That was pretty funny. But uh, this is from Vertical Entertainment. It's called Headshot. Looks like it might be one of those pretty cool kick-ass Japanese flicks. To the Blu-rays last. This is one I got for my wife or my daughter. I don't know if I'll ever watch it, but... It's like three DVDs, 24 episodes. It's like, what is it? Almost nine hours of content. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, I guess is what you would call it. But it's the very first of whatever that is. They like that kind of stuff, so I picked it up for them. There she is. The next one we've got, I picked up. Right as I was at the registers, guys, I looked there and I noticed this had Chris Rock in it and Julie De Delpy, or however the hell you say that. A hilarious comedy of manners. This is also a Magnolia title. Two Days in New York. I've seen this cheap all over the place for, for a buck. I guess that's finally worth the uh, pickup. That stupid thing. I don't know what the hell that was. Here's one that is by Orient Pictures. Man, I haven't seen Orient Pictures in a long time, at least that I can remember. A harsh movie, uniquely compelling. Hell Hath No Fury. Adrian Grenier. That's the dude from uh, Honorage. Really good show if you haven't seen that. Angela Trimber. I don't notice these names. I know him, though. And it's called Trash Fire. So, we'll see how that is. That's all I got for DVDs. The rest are Blu-rays. First one I got, and I forgot that I even picked this up. It's got Condell Moore. This is a 20th Century Fox. I don't know if you heard that. My wife is sick or something right now. So, it's called Insecure. I remember the one girl here, Essence Atkins, I believe her name is. She was from, like, Smart Guy and... Those old, like, Disney show kind of ones. What if I can get a... See if that'll work and I can get a, uh, a thumbnail for it. Next one we got is Stay Awake. What in the... Not rated. Gravity... Gravitas Ventures. I'm not real sure about this one. This one looks kind of weird. I'm going to... 2017, so it's not even really that old. Uh, it's called Drib. Well, if you look at the back here, like, it looks like it's kind of... I really shouldn't remove these plastics. This dude right here, he looks kind of crazy. I think it's about some guy that gets sponsored by some energy drink or something, but it looks like it might be kind of a drama-based film as well. Trib is inside story of how a comedian scammed his way to viral fame, fooled, fooled an advertising agency, and almost became the international face of a well-known energy drink. Before everything went wrong, Drib is a cinematic re-enhancement of the entire story, a no-holds-barred satire of L.A. advertising culture told by Amir, oh my god, I don't know that name. The person who lived it all to avoid a lawsuit from the brand in question, we invented our own drib. 
I don't even know. Anyway, Drib. The last one we got is Michael Shanks, Kathleen Robertson, Lachlan Monroe. I know him. The family that plays together wins. Mr. Hockey. I guess it's about uh, Gordy Howe who retired after winning 25 winning seasons. Then his sons get drafted and then he ends up going and playing with them. It sounded like it'd probably be good, and I'm glad that I picked it up. You can tell that they're all like two sons and the father on the front there. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me one of those likes. Really appreciate it. Like I said, the last uh, video did pretty good views. I got a few comments on it, a couple new subscribers, so I appreciate that. So I'm going to try to make more of these videos. Like I said, this was, I'm trying to get all caught up. I know there's a couple in here I didn't put in there that I completely forgot about. But, I appreciate all the support, guys. Like I said, let me know if you've seen any of these. Let me know if you guys have seen anything new. I love hearing all the comments. I'll do my best to reply to all of them as long as I can see them. I'm not getting the notifications that people are, because I have this channel and my other channel. It just depends on which one. But if I come back to it late I apologize but anyways I'm rambling on we've been on here for almost 22 minutes you guys are awesome hope you all have the great rest of your day thanks for checking out the vid until next time see ya I'm out